Hello researchers. Um, as part of our uh, magnetopause reversal and superwave research, I um, wanted to uh, show some of the uh, things I've been mapping in uh, Google uh, Sky. Um, for one, um, my most current uh, pushpin is the uh, Nova that was picked up on Stereo B uh, that was called, uh, it was named Sagittary 2012. Um, it's since been given this other long name, uh, PNVJ1745279-1-1. I guess that's a catalog number. Um, it is at a uh, these coordinates right here 17 hours 45 minutes 28.02 seconds declination minus 23 23.0 I'm looking in infrared right now um, go to optical zoom in um, there's a lot of stars in this region, so it's kind of hard to pinpoint the object. But that is the area of space that the afterglow was picked up from. Uh, could be any one of these uh, stars out here. Back out for a second. Another thing I've been doing is I've been mapping every gamma ray burst being detected by Fermi in the SWIFT missions and seeing their relation to the galactic plane. Um, you may want to watch this video in full screen and the maximum resolution. Um, you, it may be a little hard to see when I back all the way out but try to pay attention to where these yellow push pins are located. I'll try to put them out. It's here, just follow my mouse, right here, 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 here. There's one, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Um, to compare that to the dark rift, we'll turn back on uh, infrared. Galactic plane. Um, gonna orient this. There we go. Better. Now I'm gonna turn infrared back off. Now I I can see. Uh, I'll point some of them out and then I'll turn infrared back off. There's one here. Here. Here, here, here. This one right here is uh, pretty sure. Let me get turn on. Constellations for one second. That is in Sagittarius. This is a uh, the supernova. Well, it wasn't a supernova. It was a it was a uh, white dwarf nova. That is right there, almost dead on the uh, galactic plane sky. I just wanted to see how many of these ended up on the galactic plane. I'm going to turn infrared off so I can see some more of these push pins. There's two here, one there, one there, one right there, another one right there. Um, let's see their relation to the galactic plane. Well, they're sort of close to it. That one's very close to it. 
We've got a flurry of them. There's three right there. One, two, three. Another one there. Another one there. One here. Every place I'm stopping my uh, pointer is a gamma ray burst. So I would say, I mean, looking at the rest of the sky, I have mapped out. I mean, there's a few others. I'd say a good 75-80% of them or along the galactic plane. Uh, just wanted to point this out. I get phone calls at the most interesting time. Uh, but it's more gamma rays. Are picked up by Fermi and Swift. Uh, we're getting a better picture of the activity along the galactic plane. I may make a short, a uh, short sky tour soon, and provide that as a KML file. And uh, if I do do that, I'll put out a video with the tour, and uh, put the KML file up on our website so you can take the same tour. Keep looking up. Still getting it.